Hello friends, welcome to part 17 of Laravel 12 multi binary e-commerce series. So we will continue working on roles and permissions. And in this part, we are going to manage sub-admins. We are going to do add edit functionality for the sub-admins. Okay, so in the last part, we have seen that we able to show the sub-admins in the admin panel. We have also done active inactive as well as the date functionality for the sub-admin. And now we are going to add and edit functionality for the sub admin okay so the admin can able to edit the sub admins and also can able to edit the sub admin okay so that thing we are going to do in this part so let's start so these are the steps that we are going to take first we are going to add uh, this add sub admin button at the top right corner and we'll also add the edit button as well okay so we are going to add the uh, button at the top right here we are going to add the add sub admin button okay uh, so i'm going to open the sub admin bit file so we are going to add somewhere here we are going to add after sub admins uh, we are going to add this we will see that the placement is correct or not uh okay so i, I think that uh, completes uh sub admin is also there uh, so we are okay so only this part is required to update this one is uh, will remain the same okay so simply i will update here add sub admin link and everything else will remain the same okay so now it seems to be fine add sub admin link is here and also we are going to add here the edit sub admin link as well so this is the link that we are going to add it as well so here we are going to add the edit link as well place this edit icon uh, before uh, delete okay like this okay now it seems to be fine okay so uh, so let's move to the next step so first we are going to create the get route in web.php file to display the sub admin form so this is the get route that we are going to add. So before delete, we are going to add this get route. So we are going to create the add edit sub admin function just to display the add edit uh, sub admin form. Okay. So we are going to create this function. This function is responsible for displaying the add edit sub admin form. It determines whether the form should be in add or edit mode based on the presence of an ID. See, if there is the ID, then it is. It means that uh, it's the edit mode. It's in the edit mode. Otherwise, it's in the add mode. Okay. So return the add edit sub admin form. Okay. So we are going to add this function in admin controller. So we are going to add at last. Okay. here we are going to return the title as well as the sub admin data so in case of add id is empty and sub admin data is array just the empty array and the title is add sub admin and in case of edit it will be edit sub admin and sub admin data we are going to fetch that uh, admin details from that id okay uh, from that id that uh, that we are going to send whenever the admin click on this edit icon okay so this is the id that we are going to have and we are going to fetch that sub admin details from that id okay so after this we are going to display the add edit sub admin bit file that we are going to uh, create this sub admin add edit sub admin bit file inside the uh, our project okay uh, resources views uh, admin sub admins okay so here we are going to create this file add edit sub admin 
dot blade dot php so here uh, we are going to move it here okay and uh, it's a admin dot blade dot php file so i can uh, copy from some another file uh, the layout okay i can copy from update details so we want some form page so it will help us to insert the admin design as well so you can see we have the admin design just the form is required to update okay so here and here also uh, instead of update details i am going to mention here the title title will come up here we are going to update uh, here this one and also this one these two update details we are going to update here with the title and here we are going to modify this form and we are going to display the add edit sub admin form this form we are going to display it is similar to the update details form okay so we are going to update this form here like this okay and we are going to align it as well okay like this and uh, see so we have included the name email password mobile and profile image fields in case of edit we are going to pre-fill this form we are going to fetch that sub admin details and we'll pre-fill this form okay in case of add there are all empty fields okay so we are going to check once that whether uh, we able to open the sub admin form here you can see the add edit sub admin form okay add sub admin you can see email password name mobile and image fields here okay so one can uh, admin can able to add the sub admin from here and also we are going to check the edit like if the admin want to um uh, edit this uh, amin gupta sub admin then he is going to click on this edit icon and he can see that uh, the complete details uh, uh, we able to fetch okay complete details of amit uh, amit gupta we able to fetch and here we able to uh, see email is here name is here mobile is here image is here okay password is here okay so the admin can able to update the complete details okay but see here we will make the read only field email field uh, we will not allow to update okay so what we can do here uh we can also update like uh, in case of edit uh, see uh, read only as well as we will give some style here as well okay some background color we can give so that uh, the admin will come to know that this is not editable okay oh some light color we are required to give like this okay so the admin will not try to edit it okay so email uh, in case of edit only okay in case of add uh, the admin can able to fill the email as well okay so let's move to the next step so now we are going to create the post route for the submission of this add edit sub admin form okay so now we are going to create this post route in admin controller uh, sorry in web.php file uh, and we are going to create it here okay and this time we are going to uh, make the function like if sub admin request okay for this submission this uh, function will actually submit the sub admin details for add and for edit okay so this function we are going to create in admin controller and there are two functions that we are required to create one in the admin service and another one in the admin controller so this is the function that we are going to create uh, inside the uh, admin controller okay so this function we are going to create in admin controller and we are going to inject see we have injected the admin service in the constructor so we can directly use the instance of that admin service and can call that add edit sub admin function that we are going to create in our next step okay so i will just simply copy this add edit sub admin request function in admin controller here okay like this 
so here we are going to call the another function add edit sub admin function we are going to call that we are going to create in admin service before creating that function we are going to create the sub admin request to validate add edit sub admin form so we are going to run run click show option open git base here and we are going to this command see it has created the sub admin request under request admin folder so we are going to open this one sub admin request okay so we are going to add the rules and uh, custom validations rules okay first we are going to make the authorization as true authorized as true to validate the request and then uh, we are going to update the rules these are the rules that we are going to add to validate the name mobile image and image and email after that we are going to add this messages so these are the custom messages that we are going to add for our rules and one more validation we are going to add that is the with validator function okay so with validator is the another function check the sub admin is already exist or not if the sub admin is already exist then we are going to show the error message that sub admin already exist okay if uh, any custom validation you want to add along with this validation then you can add this function in which you can add your custom validations and after here means after this validation it will work okay so it, it is going to check that whether the sub admin exists or not and the, if the sub admin exists then it will return the error message that sub admin already exists so and make sure that you will also add this failed validation along with this because without it it will not give the error message okay so this validation is also required so laravel documentation gives all this you can open that laravel documentation and can study this in detail so after that uh, we are going to implement the add edit sub admin function in admin service to uh, to have the uh, to handle the logic for adding or updating sub admin data and upload and save profile images and encrypt password before storing them okay so this is the function that we are going to add this function is similar to the update detail function that we have added earlier okay so in admin service we are going to add this function okay so this function will actually uh here you can see this function will actually add edit the sub admin okay so it is based on the id if the id is there then it is going to uh we are going to send the message like the submit sub admin updater successfully otherwise we are going to show the message sub admin added successfully okay so here we are going to upload the admin image as well and after that uh, see this is the code uh, that we are going to uh, update the sub admin details as well okay so after this uh, restrict login for inactive sub admin so here see for the inactive sub admin we need to update the code now okay so here uh, you can see in the login function in add admin service here you can see in the login function we don't have that status code okay status must be active to login okay uh, for the sub admin as well okay so we are going to modify the public function login here and here we are going to check that the whether the status is active or inactive okay so if the status is inactive then one more case we are going to send here uh, we are going to send uh here uh, we are going to send back the return is success or return is invalid like if the status is uh, inactive if the status is zero then we are going to return inactive okay and if the if it is not inactive then we are going to check uh, its email and password okay and status must be one and in that case it must be success or invalid okay so we are going to modify this login function and also we are going to modify the store function and admin controller uh, okay so this is the last thing that we're going to do we are going to modify the store function as well here this one also we are going to modify 
the store function also we are going to modify and here you can see that we have added one more condition here okay one is the success that in that case we are going to return the user to the dashboard page and the another one is the inactive in that case we are going to show the your account is inactive please contact the administrator and the last one is the invalid email or password okay so we are going to modify the store function as well so that's done and also make sure that we are going to add uh, these uh, classes in sub admin request uh, okay that we have created we need to add these classes at the top so now we are going to test it that whether we able to add the sub admin or not okay so here we are going to add the new sub admin like if i am going to click on submit then it must show the error message here let's see yes it is showing the error message it is uh, showing uh, some errors sub admin request does not exist okay so it is saying that the sub admin does not exist so we are going to add the sub admin request here okay after this after this detailed request we are going to add here the sub admin request as well now we are going to try once again Yes, this time the correct error messages are coming. Name is required, mobile is required, email is required. Okay, so once you will click on submit without entering the details of the sub admin, then it will ask you to enter the required details. So now we are going to add here like uh, sub admin uh, already exists. We will try the same admin once again. Amit at the date of admin dot com one two three four five six. So it must give us the error that the sub admin already exists. Let's see. So I'm going to click on submit and let's see. Yes, it gives the error sub admin already exists. So we need to add the unique sub admin. Here we can add something like uh, Amit thousand, something like this. And here I'm going to add the name mobile and I'm going to click on submit. Now this time the sub admin must uh, add it. Yes this sub admin added here you can see the amit thousand at the review of mail have been added successfully okay so here uh, we are going to edit it as well here you can see the email is read only and here we can make some changes we can change the name as well as the mobile uh, and see this update has been done okay so now we will come to the image okay so for image uh, let's select uh, one of the image here and we are going to click on submit let's see if we can able to update this image yes the image has been updated successfully now we are going to check the image here yes the image we are able to add it as well okay so like this you can able to add and edit the sub admin we will also add the new sub admin once again like some other Steve at the rate of view of mail dot com password is one two three four five six name is Amit Gupta mobile is something anything we can add and finally we can add the image as well and we'll click on submit all the information we have added yes we gave able to add the complete information and here you can see the details have been added successfully okay so we able to add the sub admin uh and we able to edit it as well okay so in the next part we will continue working on the sub admins and we'll add the assess so the admin can able to add the assess like uh, to amit gupta the admin will provide the orders assess okay to john the admin is going to provide the products assess so like this we will give the rights we will give the assess permissions roles and permissions to the sub admins okay so that thing we are going to do in the next part and the same i have mentioned here as well in the next part we will implement roles and permission for sub admins allowing the super admin to control what action each sub admin can perform so please subscribe the channel youtube stack developers for more updates for the future videos of laravel okay so please subscribe the channel as well as you can join the channel if you want to get the complete source code okay you can also join the channel and please subscribe to the channel for more updates. So that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.